Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I'm almost at the midway point in my time off. I'm on the Friday of my first week off. Um, I've had a really nice week so far, um, I've seen lots of my little niece, <laughs> she's been really good. So I've uh, spent time with her, my brother and my brother's partner, um, and my little brother as well on the Monday and the Tuesday, but um, just those three for like the last four days. Today is kind of a stopgap day uh, to allow me to sort of start getting ready for next week, because <laughs> that's a thing. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been a really good week so far, and one of the things I've done is like making tattoos, new tattoos. So this is well, I would have been getting it done midway through getting it done this time yesterday. Um, I think I sort of got out of there at about quarter to twelve. Um, so it'd have been a mid midway point of getting it done yesterday. So it's looking really fresh, really good. <laughs> um. I'm really happy with it, like, I, I don't know how well you can sort of see the colours, but it kind of goes from red through two shades of orange, through two shades of yellow towards the, towards the tip, and even though that, like, technically there's not a lot of red on it, it does look redder than it actually, <laughs> than, it, than it actually did as it was getting done, so I'm actually really happy with it. Um, I can't stop looking at it, like, like um as 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 I get it a little bit cleaner, so like um as it was getting done, there was a lot of orange, a lot of orange, um, and it was hard to sort of like see all the distinctions between the the different colors, um, but now that it's sort of I had a chance to sort of be be cleaned a few times, so that like the excess colors that shouldn't be there are off and like some of the the bits where like there was a little bit of blood um coming through as well <laughs> um has sort of calmed down you can i can see just that see all the colors <laughs> um but it's been it's been done really well in that kind of way where the transition between each of the colors sort of like flows so well it's kind of hard to tell where one color stops and the next color starts and as i said it gives this effect of it being really red at the bottom and sort of like really yellowy, light yellow, yeah, yellowy at the top. That sort of nice sort of like fade between, and it's yeah, I'm really happy with it. I really am. Um, and uh, so for those of you wondering, as it has lovely hieroglyphs there. Um, trying not to let that scrap. Uh, so running from that end downward it is the hieroglyphs for I am not perfect which um if any of you have seen any of my videos or my vlogs on this channel um, I don't talk about it loads but I am somebody who does not believe in um I guess specifically in the pursuit of perfection um I think per perfection in and of itself is a limiting concept um, it also puts way too much pressure on people to do things in a way which is flawless and actually in a lot of cases those flaws are what make things more interesting and what makes things more unique and actually you know sometimes it is the flaws in like which allows you to see what is so good about something um, so the idea of trying to be flawless in and of itself is such a huge pressure to put on anybody that it, it feels like such an unfair thing to like to put onto people. Um, and if you you know ignore that as an idea, um, I also think perfection in and of itself is a limiting concept in that it's basically saying there is a level to which you can reach where you will not improve any further. Um, and I think that that limits potential in a way which can be quite harmful. I think there should always be room to improve, there should always be room to grow, there should always be room to learn. Um, I think we as people need to keep evolving and keep learning and keep um, trying to improve ourselves. Um, whether it's it on small scales or on large scales, it doesn't matter, I think. As long as you're continuing to grow and develop and become a more rounded person, 
in whatever pursuits it is you're doing or just in general um i think that is a far more a far healthier way of looking at things where it's kind of like oh what i've done today is really good and then five weeks from now going oh i've improved i think that's a much more like uplifting way of, of viewing the world and a much more uplifting way of, of, of viewing things and by saying oh yeah there, there is a level that you can reach and you can't improve any further from that is so limiting and so restrictive and as i said it also puts so much unnecessary pressure on people to not have flaws and that's impossible that is an impossible task in and of itself so not only is it a limiting concept it's also an impossible concept so i do not believe in the pursuit of perfection i don't believe in perfection in general anyway um i believe that you know there is no limit on how much we can improve and so when I discovered in one of my books um, on Egyptology and stuff, the phrase, I am not perfect in hieroglyphs, I was like, I need to have that on me. I, I absolutely 100% knew it was going to be part of my next tattoo, but I hadn't decided like anything else about it at that point, whether I just wanted the hieroglyphs just by themselves um, or anything else. Um, but it was very much a case of, I knew when I saw that phrase, yeah, that that was me. That was my phrase. That is very much, you know, myself. And as I said, I got it out of one of my books on Egyptology. So there is a chance that it is not 100% correct. But like my hieroglyphs there are not 100% correct. And, you know, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is that from my understanding, that is what it means. And I'm happy with the idea that it might not itself be perfect because again I, I am not a perfectionist I do not believe in perfection I believe in continual improvement I believe that flaws make us who we are and that you know you need those flaws there in order to learn and develop and get better and to grow so yeah it, it felt like a very me concept and very me idea and obviously I love ancient Egypt <laughs> I really should have like some Egyptian stuff behind me to kind of like draw that point home. Um, so far, all of my tattoos have an Egyptian connection to it, whether it's hieroglyphs, whether it's um, Egyptian symbology. Um, they've all got that kind of connection to Egypt there. This is the first one that doesn't also have a butterfly on it. Um, so the, the reason the reason my other three have butterflies on it is I think there was a subconscious um, subconscious idea within me uh, because obviously butterflies are representative of change and transformation um, and stuff like that and there is a degree of butterflies being um, symbolic of, of transness as well um, and whilst I was still in that kind of phase of knowing there was stuff going on up here but not really being ready to to, conf to you know, deal with it and confront it and you know actually go hang on a second this is actually me this is actually who i am um i think the butterflies very much became that sort of symbol for me that kind of um subconscious idea of hey this is a way of, of representing something that i'm not able to represent uh verbally yet um and yeah i i, I know like um there was a point where i was kind of thinking oh yeah i'm just going to cover myself in butterflies um and then once i sort of started coming out i was able to let go of that idea that i needed the butterflies <laughs> which sounds so weird to sort of say um and i sort of like put it very succinctly to one of my colleagues um and to some of my friends at, at various points as well that I no longer need to cover myself in butterflies because I have become the butterfly. Um, so I'm I'm very happy with all all my previous tattoos. I'm you know not planning on changing them or doing anything with them um, to make them more gender neutral or anything like that because that's not the point of being non-binary. Um, that's not the point of of anything really. There's nothing wrong with anybody of any gender having any kind of design tattooed onto them if it's something that they like and it's something that they enjoy and something they feel represents a part of themselves uh for whatever reason or what, or in whatever way then they should get it done and yes some people do eventually have tattoo regrets but no i'm i don't regret any of the tattoos that i've got they are representative of the points in time that i was experiencing at the point when i got them um 
they are representative of who I was at the point in time that I got them um, and you know what emotional states I was in and various other things like that so I'm very happy with all my previous tattoos just as I'm very happy with this tattoo and again I am not perfect so um, you know having tattoos that are I mean, I'm, I'm still really happy with them to be honest <laughs> like even even this one, which does technically contain my dead name, I'm still happy with it because even at the time that I got it, I knew I was going to reach a point where that was no longer my name. And like at the time, I was like, well, that's a ridiculous thought. I'm never, you know. But I was still holding on to that idea that I'd had since childhood that my, my true name would reveal itself and then I would start going by that. So um, even though there was a part of me going, no, like that's that's never going to happen because that's the point of time I, I was in at the time, I still had this really strong feeling when I was getting this tattoo done that I was getting a name on me that wasn't always going to be my name. Um, and it didn't even like 100% feel like my name at the time, but I kind of uh, went ahead with it and, and got over it and I'm still accepting of it now for the exact same train of thoughts, which is... It was never about the name in the first place. It was about the the concept of the tattoo and everything you know that I was feeling at the time, which led to me getting this tattoo. Um, so even though yes, it does contain my dead name, well, nobody can like really read the hieroglyphics. So like, I don't like, <laughs> I don't have to tell anybody what it means. <laughs> like, for for all they know, it's like some random pharaoh. Um, Unless I can actually read hieroglyphs, in which case it's not a perfect translation anyway. Um, and I, I knew that at the time, and I like it's one of those things where it's, it's very much a, a case of the name that is in there was never the point of this tattoo. Um, at the time, I knew I would reach a point where, or at the time, I still felt like I was going to reach a point where my real name would reveal itself. Um, so even when I was getting it done, I knew there would be a point of time where this would no longer be my name, but I still got it done anyway because it wasn't about the name at the time and it's still not about the name now. I do not regret this. I'm never going to regret this um, because like, it's honouring my, my past in, in a lot of ways. Um, and I think that's the kind of the thing I sort of like feel about all my tattoos is I still love them. I still appreciate them for what they are. They are representative of my past um, and you know parts of myself um, that may have grown and changed since I've got them is still sort of remembering you know all these things that sort of came before and I don't think there's anything wrong with that as I said I think because I'm one of those people who I try not to live re with regrets uh, yes I have made a lot of mistakes in my life um, but I've also learned a lot from making those mistakes and because I've learned a lot from making those mistakes and because I have a way of thinking about things and looking about things where I try um, very much, not necessarily to be an optimist, sort of, um, but it, it is that kind of, of way of, of doing things and way of thinking about things where because I want to keep improving, I want to keep growing as a person and I want to um, keep sort of... Um, evolving and, and becoming more myself and, and stuff like that um i think you're hindered by that if you regret anything that sort of happened in your past yes there are things that i've done in my past i'm not particularly proud of and wouldn't necessarily tell people about um but they are still a part of my past they are still things that you know make have brought me to this point and make me who i am now so i don't regret them in that sense of um Oh, I wish that never happened. Oh, I'm so embarrassed about that. Oh, la 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 la. Um, I choose not to think about them, but I don't regret them because, like, they're still a part of my history. They're still a part of who I was. And as I sort of like go get older and, and improve and keep growing and stuff like that, they're still going to remain a part of who I was. I can't change my past. Therefore, I do my best not to regret my past, just to learn from it and to grow and to keep growing and. Um, as I said, I don't regret any of my tattoos. I still really like all of my tattoos. Um, that was the reason why um, this design was originally supposed to go on to here, but it was gonna, the way the artist who I commissioned had done it, it was gonna go partially over it. Um, and I didn't like that. Um, I 
wanted to give this its own sort of like space um, and its own sort of like position and its own sort of like um, I, I didn't like my the whole thing was I didn't want to cover this one up because I still really like it I still you know I accept that yeah that's got my dead name in it but it was never about the name to begin with so I didn't want it to be covered up um, and I didn't like the way that it like they sort of designed it to sort of do that um, even though I sort of like said I, I don't want it to be covered up I mean it wouldn't have covered all of it but it would have gone over like some of it and I was like I, I don't I don't feel comfortable with that I don't like the way that that idea sort of works which is why I then gave this its own space um, because again like if I regretted this tattoo <laughs> or if I didn't like this tattoo I would have been perfectly happy getting it um, partially covered or fully covered or whatever but no I'm I'm happy with it I you know as I said it was never about the name it was about the design it was about what it meant to me at the time um and those are things that matter and those are the things that are important and uh yeah so that's why this is now on this arm and not on, not on this arm um but I may get something to sort of like do the lower bit of this arm or like the back of this arm I, I want I want some more tattoos <laughs> I, it will take me a while probably to decide exactly what I want, um, but in getting this one, um, sort of like the first one that doesn't have the butterfly connection, it still has an Egyptian connection, but it doesn't have the butterfly connection, uh, means that my brain is now thinking a lot more about um, getting other designs that don't necessarily have the Egyptian connection there either. Um, I'm not like 100% about those <laughs> right now because I really do love ancient Egypt. Um, but at the same time, like my head is now much freer and much fuller of concepts which don't necessarily have to reflect all the things that connect the other ones. And I can sort of like go, okay, let's let's start new connection, new things, let's start doing other things, let's, you know, start exploring other kind of ideas and concepts. That's not to say that I'm not going to have a few more tattoos that have some sort of Egyptian connection to it, because I do love, like, ancient Egypt is one of the few things that I, I've been certain that I appreciate and love since I was about seven years old. <laughs> and other things have sort of, you know, either come more recently, um, or I'll go through sort of like phases where I'm not as interested in it and then I might sort of like swing back to it but like the whole ancient Egypt stuff is like you know, seven years old, loved it, continued to love it, will continue to love it. Um, so there, there's a bit of me that was just like, I just want all my tattoos to have something to do with ancient Egypt and I'm also at the kind of point of going, yeah but if I won like this sort of thing uh, tattooed on me then I don't really know how I'll get that ancient Egyptian connection in there it might be nicer just to sort of create a design that I really like that doesn't have to tie back to Egypt like I ever said this one doesn't tie back to butterflies so um, I think I feel a lot more free <laughs> like yeah I, I think I feel a lot more free in the kind of things that I can sort of think about and get and, and potentially have now that I've kind of opened myself up to my true self and I'm not sort of trying to find ways of being the butterfly but have actually become the butterfly um yeah <laughs> all right okay so this needs to get uh some moisturizer slash antiseptic stuff on it now because of like yeah I'm, I'm about 20 minutes overdue for doing it although I did sort of yeah I, I've not long had a shower which is why I sort of but I did it when I got up like I washed it and I did it when I got up and then I had a shower at about half past nine ten o'clock um and it's sort of coming up to half past eleven now which is you know about when I would want to sort of get it sort of done again so I'm gonna go do that now so I hope you found this one sort of interesting I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time and I will see you next time see ya if you've enjoyed this video consider checking out some of my others and if you like what you see consider liking and subscribing thanks for watching see ya